Hi, it's Gwen Fox, and I have a question for you. Does confidence in your art seem to kind of come and go when things are good, they're good, when things aren't, your confidence is gone? You know, as a workshop teacher, I, as an art coach, I see artists struggling with this all the time, and it holds artists back from successfully talking about their work or believing that they, they can actually create art with meaning. Now, I bet... You've watched other artists sell their work and you knew that their work wasn't nearly as good as yours, but they were selling and you had to ask yourself why. What did they have that caused people to love their work? Well, the answer is confidence. People love to be around confident people and like it or not, confident people are treated differently. So what is confidence to an artist anyway? Well, this is what I think it is. I think confidence as an artist is feeling that you can create what you have in your mind that you want to create and you do it well. It's knowing and feeling that you're, you're enough. You're not lacking in your ability as an artist. But the important thing to remember as creatives is this. How you see yourself as an artist is how you approach the easel or paper and that requires confidence. So confidence plays a major role in the outcome of your paintings. But here's the issue. <clears throat> How does one get confidence? And to me, confidence is difficult to grasp because it's a concept. It, it isn't like you can pick it up. Like, okay, this is a brush. I know it's a brush. It's a physical thing, but confidence can't be touched. That makes confidence even harder to understand how to get it and keep it. it. has nothing to do with your personality, whether you're an introvert or an extrovert. What does it take to really get and keep confidence? Well, here's what it takes to get confidence, and I call it the CACC method. Number one, it takes courage. Courage to try something new, to step out of your comfort zone, because courage causes you to be really uncomfortable. It's hard to have confidence without courage, and it takes courage for you to step into the real you. Now, think back and remember in your very first workshop you attended, you were brand new to stepping out as an artist, taking a workshop, knowing almost nothing. Well, this made you nervous. Were you going to be, you were out of your comfort zone, but by the end of the workshop, you felt better. Your confidence grew in yourself and your art. The second thing, though, that it takes is action. Action to do this new scary thing. There is a big difference between thinking about doing something and actually doing it. It's like you will, you will find a way to do it or you'll find an excuse not to. Courage and action are what it takes to create confidence. And when you put courage and action together, they reward you with confidence. And the more you act on things outside your comfort zone, the more you will believe that you're in control of your life. As a result, you will become more confident. Now that you have the confidence, the big question is how do you keep it? How do you ride the waves of the dirty, the dry, dirty spells when paintings don't work? When you constantly produce paintings that just plain suck, how do you keep your confidence level steady? Well, there's a break. It's by being committed to your art. Now, commit, commitment is the same thing as knowing your why you paint. You've heard that without commitment, when times get tough, you have nothing to fall back on. Think about this. You are at a show and other artists' paintings are selling and yours are not. At the end of the show, you're wondering, what's wrong with your paintings? And your confidence goes down in the toilet. Let's just be honest here. You start wondering why you're painting and you wonder what you're doing wrong. You even, you even wonder if you should continue creating. Courage and action builds confidence, and commitment solidifies it. 
This is why artists can bounce back from a bad situation and still have confidence in themselves and their art. It is hard to have confidence without courage, and it takes courage for you to step into the real you. When you do this, as I said before, your confidence, your courage and action give you confidence. Now, if artistic confidence is something that you would like to know more about, how to get it, how to keep it, let me know. And until then, create brilliantly. Yeah.